Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about my new Walla Tumblr Press. This is a press that's specifically designed for tumblers, but you can do so much more in it. I have tried all of these different styles of cups in it and they all work in the Tumblr Press. So this is one of the color changing mugs. This is a stainless steel mug. This is a mason jar. This one was a little bit teetering on not being able to fit, but I did get it to fit. This is a, um, the water bottle style, the skinny tumbler short, the skinny tumbler tall, and the water bottle. All of these I had on hand and I tried and I am able to press those in here. But today we're going to be doing the standard 20 ounce skinny tumbler. I know this is a very popular one. We're gonna do a full wrap and that's what this press was actually made for. Now they special ordered this for me quite some time ago. I wanna say maybe four or five months ago and it just came in. So they are available on the website. However, they are purple, they are not pink. I got a special order, a special color, just um, because everything around here is pink. So they did get me this pink one, but they do have them on the website. It's exact same tumbler press. However, there are they are purple. They're the Walla color purple. So I have already printed my design on the Sawgrass SG500, which is a sublimation printer. This is a sublimation project. So we're first thing we're going to do as always is clean our blank. I like to use denatured alcohol. You can use whatever you want, but you want to use a lint free cloth and some alcohol, rubbing alcohol is just fine. If you don't have that, Windex works well. Some people like to lint roll. I really like to use the alcohol because it gets any um, oils from your fingers or lotions from your hands off of the press which, or off of the blank, which could interfere with your press. So once you've got that all cleaned off and I have printed this really cool design that I think is really gonna show off the color so I printed this, uh, this is from Creative Fabrica. I will link that in the description below. And I've just cut it down to size. I just basically cut the whites off. And we're going to wrap this around the press. So let me pull this back here. Hopefully you can see that. So what I wanna do is get this centered as possible. And I wanna make sure that I have a slight overlap on both, or some people like to leave a little bit of a white edge. That's totally up to you. And I'm gonna take one side and fold it up. And then I'm gonna just hold it really tight and kind of roll it down. And then pull this side up. And you want a slight overlap. And I've got probably a little more overlap than I need, but that's okay. You want to make sure, oops, I want to make sure that you've got it lined up so that it's straight and you have it very, very tight around the mug or the tumbler. All right, so now I'm going to use some of my heat transfer tape or heat resistant tape. Let's see if I can do all this without letting go. And I'm just going to secure it. I'm going to put it on this side so it's folded like this. And I'm gonna put it, the tape is on the top side. So that way I can kind of use it as a little door or a hood and pull it really tight and then secure it down. So I've just got a simple piece of tape holding it as tight, tightly as I can. And I'm making sure that the tumbler is centered in there. At least I wanna make sure that the top edge is covered. All right, so now I'm gonna finish this seam with some more tape. So you want to make sure that this ink turns into a gas and you want to make sure none of that gas escapes. So we're just going to seal it up just like so. I'm going to do the same thing on the top half. Sealing up that seam. All right, now the next part is optional. Some people like to seal the top, some people don't. Totally up to you. It doesn't, in my opinion, have to be. This, the bottom has more of a rounded edge and that can let gas or ink escape. So I like to secure the bottom with some tape and that's up to you. Again, some people like to leave a slight white edge right on that bottom. That's optional. 
your preference, whatever you like. I like to just put some tape on it and secure that. So I'm gonna finish doing that all the way around the bottom. You're going to want some heat resistant gloves for this project. This tumbler is going to get hot. I have preheated the tumbler press to 360, 361, something like that. I think it's at 360. I looked on the website, it says three anywhere from 360 to 370. So I started at 360 and that seemed to work well, so I didn't mess with it. And then I put it on 50 seconds. You can see what works for you. All right, so we've got that bottom secured and I think the top is good. All right, so I'm going to put my heat resistant gloves on. This is going to be a hot process. This mug is going to get really hot. All right, once you've got your heat resistant gloves in, you can see this has a really long carriage as compared to like a regular mug press. This is long, so it's like this. I could put two coffee cups in here if I wanted. So we're going to make sure that it's open. This has some really long adjusting knobs, which is what allows you to do these other wider projects. But I've got it, I preset it to make sure that it fits this. And I'm going to press this for 360 at 50 seconds. All right, so we've got about eight seconds left. Again, this is from Heat Transfer Warehouse. They are in stock and they are purple. So we are at time is up. I'm going to rotate this just a little bit and I can see the image coming through already. I'm going to give it another press and we're going to let that count down for about 40 more seconds. Okay, time's up. Let's see what our tumbler looks like. I'm pretty excited. All right, you can see the image through the paper. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's coming through. That's always a great sign that your transfer is ready. This is really hot. You want to make sure that you've got gloves on. If you need to, let it cool down for a little bit. If not, go ahead and do your reveal. Let's see what we got. All right, here is our finished tumbler. Now this is a sparkle skinny tumbler and it looks so pretty. I wish you could see how vibrant it is in person. I think it looks a little bit lighter in screen. I'll try to capture it in a photo, but super, super easy. And I wanted to show you, like I said, you can fit coffee cups in here. Now I probably need to adjust this a little bit. So there are little knobs right here and I can open this up, go the other way. Very easy to turn. And once I open that up, I can fit a regular coffee cup in there. Let's go a little bit further. So you can see I can fit a regular coffee and I could put another one right here. I can fit the water bottle. I can fit this style of a water bottle. I can fit the tall skinny, the short skinny. And like I said, the mason jar, you can get it in there. You finagle it a little bit. I wouldn't do an all the way around wrap, but you can do a one-sided wrap in there with the mason jar and loosening that up. But super cool. I love this Walla tumbler press. I think it's really fun. And if you make a lot of these tumblers for your Etsy shop. I think it's, oh, that's hot. I think it's well worth the investment to uh, invest in a tumbler press because it has the long wrap. So you're not having to press it in four separate sections. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. I do have this linked in the description below the video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye. Sun is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you oh you can